This is the Art of Network Engineering podcast. In this podcast, we look for tools, technologies, and talented people. We aim to bring you information to expand your skill sets and toolbox and share the stories of fellow network engineers. Welcome to the Art of Network Engineering. I am AJ Murray. Dan, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Very well. That's good. Andy, how are you, sir? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm excited for our guest. Me too. Me too. Oh, don't don't give it away. Don't Sorry. give it away Sorry. yet. Aaron, what's up, man? What's up, dog? Um, I just noticed that whenever I introduce Dan, he gives me the Mr. Towel but when you do, but when you do it, he's very cordial, and I don't know if I should be offended by that. <laughs> I think I was a little, uh, I, I think I was taken back just a little bit because he went straight to me. So yeah, I right. Was that one, you know, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, hey man, I need an adult not to do the uh, the dramatic for effect pause, you know, because we we use time bolt now, which cuts out all of the the space. Oh crap! So I could pause as long as I want, but that's not going to get picked up in the in the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Just trying to cut straight <clears throat> to the chase. Uh, before we cut straight to the chase and introduce our guest this evening, we have some wins to celebrate. Congratulations to NetDev Chu for passing his DevNet associate. Uh, oh, J- Justin, yeah, yeah Justin. Twenty twenty. So he failed it seven days ago, February first, and you know we all know how the time window works, right? Oh, Boom! Yeah. Week later, they let you take it, and not only did he jumped back on the horse, he posted his score, which is an eight eighty five. So that's nothing about an eye nice. either, right? So he Very came nice. back with a vengeance and put that thing in the grave. Killed it. Nice. <laughs> Love it. Killed it. Nice, nice work. That, Congratulations, that's, that's Justin. Awesome. Yeah, congrats, snuck, man. snuck right job. in there. That's still part of the DevNet class of 2020. So heck yeah. Not much time left. Right, right in through the window. He did. Uh, anyway, uh, super excited. Have a wonderful guest this evening. Uh, you could say he's one of our own because uh, while he's not an active participant in the the podcast as a co-host, he does work in the background for the Art of Network Engineering blog. Uh, he is the mastermind behind the Faces of the Journey. Mm. Uh, everybody welcome Tim Bertino. 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 Is that, I, is that Italian? Is it Sicilian? Yes. What? Okay. Perfect. Sweet. Yes. Okay. I am. Uh, I am very thrilled and honored to be here, fellas. Thank you very much for the invite. I've been a listener since episode one. No big deal. Okay. So, All right. street cred. I, <laughs> so I think it's safe to say I'm I'm fanboying a little bit right oh, now. Snap. I, you you uh, oh, you can expect this stupid looking grin to be on my face probably the entire time. That's okay. Um, Andy has the hey, same look. I was just gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah. I'm still fanboying. so. So, so since since I'm being honest, I won't say that I lied to you guys when you invited me to be on the show, but I may have strategically left out the fact that this is my first ever podcast appearance. Like, oh. seriously, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with my hands right now. Yeah, nothing. So, <laughs> nothing. Jazz hands. So that, okay. So go. that being said, I, I need to know which of the four of you handles a bulk of the editing because I need to know where my formal apology needs to get sent when we wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. Andy. Mr. Laptef, noted. Yeah. It's, noted. All, it's all good, brother. This is going to be you see, easy, easy peasy. Yeah, you, you, don't you worry. See, He'll be I, testing you later. It's all right. It's not like a. It's not like one of those Nat Geo shows where like you're a drug kingpin and we have to hide your voice and make you sound like it's really really deep. You know what I mean? It, it ain't like I mean, that. You, want us to. you can do no, it. If we you want, want you to show off, Tim. We, we want everybody to see your bright shining face. So if you didn't know, by the way, that brings us to a good point. I think that if you didn't know we had videos up on YouTube, guess what? Sometimes we do. So you should probably go check that out. And maybe if you're lucky enough, you might see Tim's face on there. And you might see him doing spirit fingers slash jazz hands. <laughs> Heck yeah. And I told you, you see, I, I, that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm rambling here already, and I haven't even actually said hello yet. <laughs> so if you, will you guys humor me? Yeah. I, I've, I've got something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Now, uh, go right? for it, man. So, oh, so, right. so yeah. Yeah. Hey, go for it. 
Hang on. I'm going to try not to screw this up. I got to get real close to the mic, though. Okay. Howdy. <laughs> that was creepy Tim, you Dan, said you're, you're, I'm leaving you're that to you I'm, I'm leaving that to you so. So, alright that's it you guys can have your show well, back well it's now. funny I'm you done. mentioned that because clearly it was almost like a it was meant to be because Dan conveniently left that out this time and just <laughs> rolled out the red carpet for you to do that so by all means <laughs> it's they planned, basically it. They planned it backstage in the green room that's not yeah. fair. Yeah. Yeah. It is. All it's right, all Tim. Tim, wh- who are you, man? We t- AJ gave you a great explanation. Just give us your version. Like, where do you live? What do you do? So, again, my name's Tim Bertino. I am currently a senior network engineer in Omaha, Nebraska, in the healthcare industry. And hmm. I'm... I'm kind of, I don't know that I want to drop the U word, but I, I guess I'm kind of that unicorn like like Mr. Richards. I have been in the, with the same company for over 10 years now. It is oh, wow. the, the first spot I landed after uh, after getting out of school, and I've been there ever since. Dang. I just want to say that. that's the nicest thing anybody said to me on this podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, called me a unicorn. <laughs> We're all special, right? In our own little ways. Yeah, I, Some I of think us that just a little a... bit more. No, no, no. Don't take this away from me. <laughs> he he called me the unicorn. Hey, hey, all right. All right. <laughs> to, hey, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that was a throwback to the first episode. I think yep. somebody dropped that. I yep. don't remember yeah. which one. Yep. Yep. We definitely did. No, it is rare. I mean, I, there's something to be said about that. Uh, certainly not negative by any means of course we love to tease dan about it but you know because it's a very it's a very i don't know i i I hate to say southern thing but you know it's like a loyalty thing like the the values are just different right you're in the midwest i mean omaha is a great city it's a but it still has like more values and i would say like a place where like me or somebody like andy might live where everything's just fast paced and people are like looking for the next thing at the next moment right so Right. Yeah. You know, and God forbid you guys have to go to the next employer too, because they're gonna look at your resume and go, "Holy crap, this guy really <laughs> must want to be here because he was coming from a place." I mean, right. I-, I think it's nothing but good stuff. We just like to tease Dan. That's all. But agreed. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, it's, it's all good. good. So, <clears throat> so what did you go to school for then? That's a, that's a funny story. So it usually the, is. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we ask it. <laughs> the reason. I decided to try IT is because I would have been an absolute liability as a building architect. And I can explain. So the, the high school I went to had a computer-aided drafting program, an AutoCAD oh, cool. kind of program. So I did that for, I think I got into it my sophomore year and I, I rode through it to my senior year. And I hit a point in my senior year where I just stepped back and go, holy crap, I am no good at this. And I'm about to get out of high school. So, And I'm kind of an indoor cat. So... Mm-hmm. I gotcha. wanted to find something that I liked the tech behind AutoCAD and all that. So I I wanted to, to go to school, and but I didn't know anything. So Andy, you've brought this up multiple times that uh, when people don't know, what do they choose? They choose computer science, right? <laughs> so the college I went to offered computer science and they also offered computer information systems. But if you chose computer information systems, you had to pick a concentration and they had like uh, e-commerce and, and web development and networking, but I didn't know what any of that was. So I'm like, well, I'll just pick computer science. It's got the name in it, computer, and I don't have to pick anything else. Hmm. So I went that route and I, I had the same culture shock as you did, Andy, is I got into the programming classes and the math. I, I failed calculus. That almost pushed me uh, graduating my senior year, I had to take some extra credits. My man, uh, to, to pick it up, but <laughs> I, I did. I did stick with it. I stuck with computer science, but I ended up uh, falling in love with networking. They had uh, they had the Cisco Networking Academy there, so it just yes. it just clicked. It gelled with me, so I I stuck with that and decided that that's what I wanted to be when I grew up. So you went through and Netcat in awesome. college. Yeah. Wow. So just to. Just to let you know, I think we've just become best friends because <laughs> before I went into IT, I was thinking about doing uh, like building architect and whatnot. Right on. So that's that's Look, really weird that you I said don't want to throw another <laughs> wrench in the spokes, but so was I because Tim, that story is identical to mine in high school. No way. We had we yeah we had AutoCAD. Uh, I mean it was it was 1999, right? We just got it and. The year before, so they did it every other year. That's how how little they had like occupancy. So 
but the the off year would be like my junior year and that was like just a legit on the board with the t square the number three pencils that's right folks. Okay. Number three yeah. pencils exist and we actually had to draw like an entire like 20 page like house plan like front elevation wow so, you know Oof. uh you know that just every plan wow. you could possibly think of but you get to make up the house so it's cool but dude i think we there's something to be said about that right so it's like uh like did you play with legos a lot when you were a kid <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, lincoln logs did. yeah <laughs> yeah the same same we're, we're all in the same boat all right that's cool so yeah, it was, it was a hell of a backup though. plan by the way did you get your ccna <laughs> in college no um I, towards the end when i was about to graduate I, I wanted to give it a shot and so that was in 2009 2010 and i i wasn't ready for it but i tried to take just the composite exam because back then you could have taken icnd1 icnd2 oh, okay yeah. i took the composite exam just just failed it miserably mm, um mm. but i did have an incredible uh opportunity in college is it was a small school or is a small school it's growing though and the IT department, the help desk and desktop support was supported by almost 100% uh, part-time workers, and they were all students, full-time students. So mm -hmm. there was one full-time uh, employee on the help desk and desktop support, and the rest were, were students. So I got a, an opportunity to join that team, and I, was, I did that for about three and a half years, and that was absolutely huge for me uh, wow. to get just IT experience desktops, mm -hmm. printers, all that, and got yeah. an introduction into networking too. So that was huge. Hmm. So how long did you do that for? Was that during your, your schooling there or? Yeah, I think I started my second semester of freshman year and I did it through graduation. Okay. So what what is that? Like two years, three years? Uh, it was a four year school. Four year. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. So you popped out at school with a degree just not the ccna but you had the degree and the now like almost general it generalist experience too right so even yeah, though yeah, even though while you were in school you found a passion for networking you were also doing what everybody is going to call the crap because anytime you touch a printer that's crap and <laughs> we all know <laughs> <Yeah>. it crap, <laughs> crap 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 um so yeah uh Thank God you found the passion for networking because nobody wants to deal with printers and fax machines for the rest of their life uh, or get stuck with VoIP. <laughs> um, yeah. So so you're, you graduated college. What degree did you have when you graduated college? I did finish with a bachelor's in computer science. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. And experience. So wait, wait, right? wait, wait. And so experience. You're, you actually experience. are programming then, right? I tried really hard, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <I did. laughs> he studied. <laughs> I did. What I a concept. I, I think the I think the biggest difficulty for me with programming concepts was that I felt that I was going to have to dedicate a lot of time to it, and, and I just wasn't doing that. I mean, that's something that needs repetition. You need that constantly going through your brain, and I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing it justice. So I, okay. I was able to focus on networking, take all the networking classes, and still graduate with that that CS degree. Um, and I, oh, okay. I got really fortunate, too, because with the job that I got um, right out of school, it was like I graduated on a Saturday and I started there the following Monday. So, wow. wow. Yeah, oh, wow. It, very, very fortunate. Nice. That's great. You didn't even want to, like, take a week off and I don't know. <laughs> they, maybe, go they, to, maybe go to the beach. Dan, earmuffs. Maybe go to the beach <laughs> and enjoy yourself. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> No? I think they were uh, ready for me to start before I was able to. So, Wow. So I, wait, when did you apply to this place then? It actually took a while. Um, I actually almost forgot that I had applied. I, it had been multiple months. <laughs> wow. and, and one thing, I actually did the thing that recruiters and uh, counselors will tell you to do is when you apply for something, what do you do? You follow up. Follow you call up, them, baby. Follow you, you up. You get that, that resume at the top of the pile. And... I got a got a call kind of out of the blue um, at least a couple months later and went ahead and uh, and interviewed for it and it it worked out. Nice. I would say so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you literally transit like you put in your two weeks notice at school. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like yeah. like graduating or not, I got a job on Monday, suckers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> was that a similar job, Tim? Kind of like a journalist yeah. help so desk. So I I really wanted to 
get into network infrastructure right out of school. Um, but I obviously didn't have the real world experience and it was, I'll say much easier, or maybe not much easier, but there were a lot more opportunities out there for uh, end user computing specialists. Did you so, get to touch, yeah, that's, I'm sorry, did you get to touch any no, networking in that school job that you had? I did. Okay. I did. Um, I got into some some Cisco switches. Some, in fact, they were at the time they were running uh, Cat OS. It was even before oh, uh, wow. iOS. So Tight. yeah, some big six thousand five hundred chassis. So I got a little bit of experience, but but really not enough. Was uh, enough to get to yeah, transition right. directly. And no. you and you did not have your CCNA at the time either, right? No. Okay. So that begs the question, what what made you want to get it then? I mean, you graduated with a CS degree and then, because like, I, I'm looking at like the, the feedback loop, right? Like, so anytime you do something, are you getting punished or rewarded, right? Like what makes you keep going? And for you, it's like, I felt like you just kept getting rewarded. So why go back and punish yourself by getting a CCNA? So I, I wanted a, uh, a network admin, network engineer position. And I felt that that was the quickest way to, to get me in that role, I had a director at the time that uh, he was very hands on with the employees. He'd reach out to you, ask you, you know, what your aspirations were, and he, he would work with oh, you. Wow. So he asked me what I wanted to do. And I said, well, I want to get into networking. And he basically asked, uh, well, what are you doing to get there? And I said, well, I'm working on my CCNA. I'm doing the ICND one right now. And he said, well, come tell me when you got it and we'll talk. And I ended up getting the, the uh, I passed the ICD one, so I got the CCENT and they ended up expanding the network team. And uh, I applied and got on. Wow, so that's that, nice. Did that wow. like light of like, so the second he said, cause you'd, you'd failed the composite at one point, right? So I mean, yeah, you'd already kind of been through the experience, but like when he said, hey, come talk to me when you get the CCNA, did that light a fire under your ass or? or oh, were you huge. Just, like, yeah. Oh, huge. See, so, so I, what's the, what's the time gap between him saying that and you getting it? Get, <laughs> if you say it's less than a week, I'm I'm yeah. gonna just kick you off the podcast. I I think I was already preparing for it, um, but I I can't remember. I, I'll tell you, I have had throughout my career, I have had an on again, off again relationship with i with IT network certifications, hmm. um, because mainly because I feel like I pour my heart and soul into it and. When failure hits, man, that that hits me like mm -hmm. a ton of bricks. I right. feel like I'm getting better at it. Yeah. You know, we're me and certifications. We're on speaking terms again. I think if it's, uh, <laughs> I think in Facebook terms, I think in Facebook terms, it's it's called uh, the relationship status is it's complicated. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> dude, but we're on, we're working right now. I'm I'm working toward Encore right now, uh, and it's going well. I will say, I don't want to get too far off the beaten path, but I will say. The recommendation from this podcast, I think you directly, Aaron, uh, were the first person that that really shone the light for me, was the space repetition concept and yeah. the Anki flashcards. That has been night and day for me. I thank yeah. you so much for that. It's been so, incredible. Okay, so let's stop right there because uh, why don't you then, since you're doing it and you're implementing it, why don't you share with everybody that's listening how you're implementing it and maybe just kind of like a rough outline because sure. I'm going somewhere with this because... So how I set up my Anki cards is much different than how AJ does, right? Or Andy or even Dan. So I want to hear like how you do it. I get questioned all the time like, hey, should I put these all in one deck? Should I separate it by, you know what I mean? So well, walk us through your little, your, your strategy. So I, I had to pull up my, my notepad. I, I have a study plan, which is something I did not have in 2020. Oh, whoa, and back am, up then. What is the study plan? Share, 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 I, share, 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 share. I am kicking myself <laughs> for not, because I, I spent a lot of time in 2020 going through uh, Encore material. And I really, other than, than doing some really good labs, I, I feel like I don't have a lot to show for it because mm. I would hit topics and I'd go on to the next thing, and it may be a month since I looked at the last topic, and I wasn't really doing any kind of review, which is where the flashcards come in. So sure. I've got a uh, I've got a seven step program here. Oh boy, <laughs> is the first step Wait. denial? Because that's what it yeah, sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> so hey hey, that's it's funny it's funny you say that though because because uh, the like the the on off part of like the the studying too with with the cards and and you know. How do, you, how do you put those together with the study plan? They kind of go hand in hand. The study plan is going to hopefully is going to keep you from 
drifting and having that that quote unquote breakup that you keep having. But mm -hmm. I think another part of it, like at least from my perspective, when you're when you're studying like that and you're studying for something and you don't have a plan, uh, your brain is going to do find the easiest subject, right? In no, sh in no way, shape or form are you going to pick up the IPv6 section and just read it for fun, right? <laughs> You're probably going to go to something cool, it's right? Especially point. in Encore. There's lots of cool, shiny stuff in Encore, right? Like BGP. Everybody wants to know how that, that works, right? I mean, it's the entire internet. So like, teach me more, teach me more. And then you're like, do I really need to go dive into IPv6? You know what I mean? Just I'm picking on IPv6, but you get the idea. So having a study plan is huge. So so share the study plan and the cards, how you how you in conjunction, you know, Finkel is Einhorn together, how and where, <laughs> where and how. Definitely. <laughs> so what I'll start with is uh, from the flashcard concept, I do break it up um, in decks by either uh, official cert guide chapters or topics, at least. I'll at least group together like topics. So what I'm doing right now is I'm reviewing uh, each OCG chapter at a time, and I'll create flashcards on the way. And the flashcards that I'm creating are a combination of the uh, Did I Know This Already's, which Aaron, you have, have brought that up baby. multiple times. That they, They're huge. Yep. Um, and then the key topics, key terms, anything else I deem necessary. Uh, and then I'll do the, the key topic review that the book tells you to do. And mm -hmm. then uh, I'll shift to key terms for that chapter, create cards off of that. Uh, and then the command reference as well, creating cards. And then I'm fortunate enough, uh, work has been so kind to get us uh, CBT Nuggets as well as Cisco oh, wow. On Demand learning wow. subscriptions. Wow. So I hit those topics uh, that I did in the OCG and do the cards and all that good stuff. And then at the end, I do uh, labs as necessary. So I start every study session with Anki, no matter what day I start with that, I get my cards out of the way. And go get, in. So do you go, so, so, cause Anki, so if you haven't for some strange reason downloaded Anki yet, <laughs> uh, the way it works is it, it basically tells you when you should be re reviewing those cards. So as an example, if I opened it up today and the spaced repetition formula was telling me that I don't need to look at those for another five days, it's not going to show me those cards. So that's what's so great about it. So every time you open it up and you have multiple subjects like that, what ends up happening is that you really don't know what card, like you could have one card from one deck, 10 cards from another deck. But if you think about it and put them all together, like you're also interlacing at that point too, interleaving, right? Like, and you're like putting pieces of the puzzle together in the background. But also I love that strategy because starting with the Anki cards, because they're cards that you've reviewed before, because you're about to go through the, the material and create new cards. So you're reviewing material that you already had before. So obviously in there somewhere, at least one or two of those are going to be like super easy, quick W's for you, right? And you're like, hell yeah, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Because like that gets your confidence up to like dive into something that maybe you didn't want to dive into before, just kind of like as like a, a like a, a deep sigh of relief before you just jump into it. Like, hey, I know how to learn. Here's the validation for that. Let me just jump into some new stuff now. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you nailed it. And another thing that I took from you, Aaron, was uh, one thing you said is when you're putting those cards together, make it difficult on yourself. Yeah. Um, the mm -hmm. Anki platform is set up in a way where building the cards and, and doing all that and going through it is an easy process. Yep. So that part's not hard. But if you make right. the content, make yourself think and talk through it, that's been huge for me. Yeah. No, I, I, it's, it's like one of those things where if you see someone, tell them about it because they do not, I don't care if you're in private school or public school, I don't care what country you went to school in, they don't teach you how to learn. It should be yeah. step one, right? Teach you how yeah. to learn and then, and then learn. <laughs> Seems fundamental. I know, but and nevertheless, <laughs> so you uh, clearly, you didn't do this for the, the, uh, the CCNA studies, right? So have you noticed a difference now? Like there's it's hard to gauge right because there's there's more stuff in encore obviously it's professional level but i don't know they're kind of the same in that you know it's new and it's fresh and that type of thing so what what differences have you started noticing now that you have like a plan and a strategy um now that i have a plan i feel much more 
motivated to get up and do it and it's easier now um why is and that's that another think? um because i'm not just going through content I, I felt like i got to the point in 2020 when i was quote studying but i was really just going through the motions reading um, yeah. because i knew i had to read the chapter i knew i had to watch the videos but like i said i left it at that i wasn't going back i wasn't mm -hmm. doing anything else so i mean that that's been a pretty big difference. Um, and content wise, yeah, there's, there's, uh, a lot more in depth stuff. So I actually took, I, t I got the CCNA twice. So I got it. Um, I finished oh, it, it the expired? first time. Yeah. In 2013 uh, and then it expired in 2016. So I got it again in 2018. Oh, wow. So, and now I'm working on Encore. So. Yeah, yeah. So this time you decided to just kind of get back through it. So I've noticed that too. It's like people often will learn their lesson when it, when the cert expires. They're like, not doing that again. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's easier just to 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 ride slowly year after year, right? Like you don't have to get a cert every year. Just like just be working towards something, and then you yeah. just never forget, right? And again, Anki's huge for that because you could just leave those decks in there forever. And go back to them whenever you feel like it. Like even even at work, you're like, I could just brush up. Or like, let's say you were gonna go interview at a new place. It's like you know they're gonna ask you, oh, what layer of the LSI bottle does this fall into? It's like, oh well, <laughs> well, well, Chuck, like that, uh, I'll, I'll say that it's uh, that's layer zero because I'm out of here. <laughs> but yeah, the, I think I think the the cards thing is. Did you pay for the um? The twenty bucks for the the lifetime Anki thing, or are you still using the free version? Oh, I'm still using the free version. See, there you go, folks. Barrier to entry zero. Must have. Actually, you don't even need a cell phone because you can download the desktop client, which I so highly that, that's recommend. That's what I do. Is I I create the uh, the cards on the desktop, and yeah. then um, much easier. I, much I much typically easier. Uh, I typically pace back and forth. I got to get my steps in sometime during the day, so I I usually walk when I'm actually doing the review, and that's on my phone. So it, it, it's so awesome. It syncs great. I've never yeah. had an issue. You have an Android. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's free on Android, which is pretty sweet. Heck yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So do you use anything else like, uh, or have you used anything else like uh, the Boson, like the NetSim or? I'm I'm getting ready to invest in that because I have gotten highly ridiculously recommend. good feedback. Highly um, recommend. Awesome. All right. I'm on it. We have I a link know. on our website. Have you been to our website before? <laughs> 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 Uh, I mean, at this point, we might as well just re rename it to TimBertino.com. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you can keep the logo, jerk. <laughs> hey, you—you you guys are the ones letting me practice whatever nonsense writing I'm doing on your website. Well, so. well, hold up now, because that's that's a good that's a good point. So we've we've recently, and you're to blame for this now. Uh, you're to blame for this because I, I got on a rant like four or five months ago where I, I convinced half the chat room to to start a blog, right? Like, you scared the crap out of me when you yeah, did that, sorry, by bro. the way. But hey, check this out. It's all because of you. And and Like I, I lay low for a while after that. You sh you, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why? What? Maybe How did maybe you will you? change your voice on here. <laughs> Tim's in a witness yeah, well, protection program now. <laughs> yeah, was I was I creating too much work for you? People were trying to get tips and tricks from you, or no? Just uh, you you had a you had a, a video chat with with a bunch of guys, and, yep. and you were just I mean, it was all positive reinforcement. Yeah, but man, I was like, this guy is serious. <laughs> <laughs> if I stay quiet, he may he might not yell at me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was this was the one where he was yelling at him saying, "Is this amateur hour?" <laughs> yeah. What I is was, that picture so on your LinkedIn? What are you oh, doing? Oh, I remember. Uh, <laughs> look, I was I, you know part of that like obviously the t we're, we're making it sound a lot worse than it was. But like the tone yeah, was no, I, no I was, we're not. <laughs> I, no, shut up, shut up, Dan. I was I was I was trying to help. I was trying to help, and I, I was like. You know, it was more of like a, a, a like a, a big brother approach, which is not good because I do that to all my friends too. And I've actually had conversations with them about this. Like I, I like to big brother them a lot. I'm like, well, you know what you should be doing? But it's because my dad did that my entire life. And so like I'm just a victim of him doing whatever that he did. And now I do it. So, hey, look at me. So, did you see the did you see the results, though? 
Right, but, but no, no, it was all good. But that's what that's what was so cool about it because because like I, I had a feeling everybody that got in that chat room, they wanted me to do that to them. You know what I mean? Because I, I agree. they, they yeah. were on top of them. They were they were Tell a foot away do. from the mountain. <laughs> yeah, and they they were ready to pull the trigger. They just they just didn't they just didn't know what to do, and they just didn't need they didn't have the reinforcement. You know because. It's yeah. it's a it's a strange thing to do, even to explain to like your normal friends or your family, like, hey, I'm gonna start this website, and they're like, oh, cool, what are you gonna talk about? Like, oh, you're gonna be a blogger, like, you know, it's like the the first thing they think of is like, you know, some Instagram influencer, which, I mean, clearly none of us are. Uh, Dan doesn't even have an Instagram, I don't think. <laughs> he's uh, he's under the radar, um, but point being, like, hey, we we. We're not like that. We're, but I think what people think of when they hear stuff like that is instantly like, oh yeah, you're probably trying to sell me something or you do something. But like, no, mm-hmm. we're we're believe it or not, folks, genuinely trying to help people out there. I know, shocker, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, we're not getting anything from it either. Like this podcast, we just love doing it, so we're just gonna keep doing it. We don't need to get paid. But yeah, I, I was in there like just really kind of doing stuff that maybe I would have hoped somebody would did, had done to me in that situation. If I, you know, I was in that situation and need that. Yeah. I just like, and not even like a push, just like the last yeah. little nudge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, More like they had a, done all the work. They knew what the they were going to do. Thing. Nobody yeah. was like, geez, what should I write about? Everybody was literally like, Hey, I, I want to write about this. I want to write this. I want to write this. I want to this. I mean, it was, it was a great, uh, it was a great, like just impromptu meeting, but yeah, it, it was a lot of stuff. Like I was kind of just, flying all over the place like hey your picture needs to look like this or you know I just, i'm just trying to help. hey it's, it worked it's pretty amazing how far the discord servers come and yeah how many sure. people there and, and, a and just thousand the, we broke a thousand yeah and, and That's the fact so cool. that these kind of things happen tim how did you get involved with the discord server because yeah like, how like, did you do that for me i was in the study group and there was a slack and then a trade like is were you kind of in that group of he was slack definitely an early adopter yeah I remember that. okay so with that um one of the reasons I got involved so early or what I thought was early uh, was because of your guys' enthusiasm. So I listened to the first episode. I, I wish I knew who retweeted it because I didn't know any of you guys at the time. Oh, cool. And somebody retweeted that there was this podcast starting mm. um, and what it was called. And I thought it was a cool name. I'm going to check it out. So I threw it in my feed and I listened to the first episode and I went on the, the website and I emailed um the art of network engineering email address Uh, i'm pretty sure it was aj aj replied within an hour of course i'm like whoa this is cool all right i'll join this thing that might have been our first yeah that might have been our first email right (laughs) aj AJ has no spam folder he's answering everything (laughs) that 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 guy who uh is asking for five thousand dollars so he can bail the prince out (laughs) and you're gonna get a million bucks we're we're talking to him too we're talking so that's (laughs) that's that's cool to hear the podcast pulled you in that's, that's yeah. Oh yeah, okay. and cool. and it was so cool. So um, that's a big thing that drew me in is that that AJ was all over it. Yeah, come check it out. Here's the link, uh, and I got onto the Discord server, and within like a week, uh, I was having conversations with AJ and Aaron, and probably not even two weeks into it, uh, AJ's asking if I'll write stuff on the website. I'm like, dude, have you ever seen my writing? But. <laughs> You know, it, it ended up working out. Hard. So I, I think enthusiasm um, and actually talking the walk that you guys do is was a big draw for me. Yeah. And you jumped mm-hmm. right in, which is awesome. I really love the faces of the journey. I've been, you know, oh my God, re- reading yeah, each those one of the best. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I and just, I, uh, just kind of explain that real quick for the listeners. What yes. What is the faces of, of the journey? So first off, I blame that on you guys. Um, <laughs> before... I really met you guys and got to know you guys in the the Discord community. I I was I've always been very passionate about my job, but it's been mainly kept to myself and mm-hmm. um, and people I work with. And I've always been kind of focused on the tech. And then I met you freaking guys, and all of a sudden <laughs> I'm doing the happy hours and I'm writing stories about people. I I don't even know who I am anymore. Nah. <laughs> so hopefully in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, it's okay. Hey, okay. I'm here, man. I'm here. Tim 2.0. Um, <laughs> so the, the faces of the journey, what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to step away from the tech and really show and highlight people that are doing it. And um, I got into it thinking, you know, we were just going to write about people. And then as we wrote about people and the people we wrote about and the stories that are coming out of this is, I mean, I'll say I have had 
what I'll call the, if there is such a thing, the traditional path into IT. Mm -hmm. um, so getting to hear and see and write about all of these people and their stories um, just across the board is so cool. And it's, mm. it's been really rewarding for me too. And, and I really hope that, that people, uh, that we write about are, are getting something out of it as well. So how are you, how are you doing that then? Like, do you, so do you have like a little phone call with them and kind of get their backstory? How do you do that? I think the very first one that I did was with, uh, our buddy Gerard yep. and, yeah. uh, with him, I did a video call and then um, I was talking with AJ and I kind of wanted to streamline it a little more and we ended up doing a template. So I, oh. I send uh, whoever we're writing about a template, they'll fill it out, they'll send some, some pictures so we can uh, have that on the site as well. And then I'll write it up and send it back to him, make sure it's okay and, and then publish it. Hmm. Nice. So yeah, you're, so you're basically like interviewing puzzles. people. Like, have you ever... Do you have yeah. a background in interview? Like, I don't think it's the easiest thing in the world to do, right? It's it, not. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not what you would call a people person all the time. So, <laughs> was this your first foray into like you know getting people stories out of them? And yeah, I'll, them? I'll say okay. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you've done a hell of a huh. job. It's, it's. Yeah. I appreciate it's, that. It seems. I I assume that you know you, you were a writer in college and you messed around Same. and it's got you back into your into your writing passion because it's just so good that it's, it's. I really enjoy it. No, I I appreciate that and. I will say as a person, I, I look for win-win situations whenever I can. So yeah, we're writing about other people. We're getting their stories out there, but selfishly it is helping me uh, work on writing. So it, mm. it's, it's been a win-win. That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Th those cool. are, are far and away the most popular articles on our website. Like we, you know, we, we post like uh, something tech related on, on Monday usually, right? Like we'll, we'll have an article from, Aaron's blog or my blog or, or another blogger in our community, in our discord community that wants to share an article with us or, you know, Andre, he's, he's come to me and he's like, Hey, I want to write about this. And so, you know, he's using, he's, he's not like a blogger on his own site. He's a blogger for, for us and he uses our site as his platform, which anybody's welcome to do by the way. Um, and so we got the tech article on Monday we got the podcast release on Wednesday. And then uh, most times on Friday, we'll do the faces of the journey and, and you can clearly see in the stats like you know i can go back through and just look like yeah. oh there's one that, that's the there's tim one. spike right <laughs> the yeah. tim <laughs> the tim i gotta spike. get back into it it's it's been a while hey well, you know, I, I like i like that the some of the people you've interviewed yeah. have actually now turned around and written articles on the website too <laughs> that's yeah. like it's almost like this like uh like a pyramid scheme, right? Where it's like recruit five <laughs> people to <laughs> No, but it's but it is and it's like it, it's helping everybody just like, you know, getting in the in this the server being like everybody start your blog, but like you're doing it too. It's just like people see themselves maybe they normally wouldn't have and they see themselves being written about and it's like I am somebody, you oh, know. Yeah. So if you think you have like a good like reach out to Tim by all means. If you if you think you have like a, a really cool story or a unique story and honestly it doesn't even it, your story is unique. I'll just tell you straight up. I don't care who you are. Your story is unique. Um, just reach out to Tim, man. If you got something to say and you want the world to see it, then th I'm sure he would love to write about you. I'm not volunteering him for work, but uh, I'll definitely. <laughs> I'm always just getting you to do more work for free. Pro bono, man. So um, I want to change gears a second. I know Please. I've already I've already been the overbearing guest, uh, and I appreciate you guys putting up with me. But if you don't mind, I I'd, I'd kind of like to uh, turn the tables a little bit. Sure. And I, Ooh. I I've got Ooh. some. I I'm such a goober, man. I took notes. I've been reading off my notes here. I shouldn't have, have given that away. <laughs> <laughs> so um, is it like Mad Libs? <laughs> I, I do. I do have a. I have one question for each of you guys. Um, if you don't mind, if we can jump into that. Yeah. Yeah. So I will. I'll start with. Uh, one of the millions of people on this planet who have a better beard than I do, Dan. Oh, oh no. wow. That's the first and only time he's going to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dan. That's, that's definitely true. So. <laughs> so, Dan, howdy. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> you've, you've obviously got your day job, right? Mm -hmm. And you're, you're married. I think you've got, you've got at least one child, right? Yep, one kid. Okay, one kid, and you've also you're also a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna throw an Andy question at you. Oh heck, here we go. What is it? Oh, what you know do what you? What <laughs> Andy knows. Hey, Andy's practice. 
Andy's <laughs> practically asking it for me. So what do you do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis to maintain some sort of balance in all the facets of your life? Hmm. So, uh, okay. So we've had a couple of guests on here who have, who have talked about how do they balance. And then we've also had in the discord, um, uh, we've had some people in discord talk about how they balance their, their life. And, um, one of them, he was talking about his wife. He basically gave like, um, what was it? Like a, like a free pass thing. Right. Uh, Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, It was like a get out of jail free card. So you could be like, Hey, you're not studying tonight. Yeah. 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 And I was like, dang, that's a good idea. You know, like now I'm going to go ahead and go out there and say like, I have not been studying like the past month or so. Um, so there's that, but, uh, but whenever I am doing that study path, I, I was like, you know what? I I need to do, I need to adopt that. But I also, so when I get off, I get off work roughly around four 30 ish or so. And until pretty much seven o'clock, that is my family time. So mm. I, I block that out. I don't try to do anything other than family time stuff there. Good for you. So that's, that's awesome. So that's kind of the balance on the family side. And then my my business, like photography and stuff, uh, one of my partners, he is more in tune with like the social media stuff. So he kind of deals with that. So I don't have to deal with that too much. Um I, I'm more of the, like, I show up, shoot, edit, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, I work on getting clients and stuff. But um, so that's kind of the balance there. I don't have to do a whole lot of overhead, I guess you want to say, for that. Okay. Mm. And then work, I uh, I would, as much as I want to say I leave my work at, at work, I, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I do take that yeah. home with me. So Everybody uh, does. every yeah, once in a while, yeah. like... If, yep. if it's, if it's like, I don't know, nine o'clock or something like that, my wife goes to bed pretty early. Um, so after she goes to bed, you know, I might, I might tinker with some work stuff that needs to get done anyways. Um, but I don't feel like I'm, I have to, right. It's just more, okay. I, I just kind of want to work on it. Um, so I don't know if that like answers your question or not. Um, it, no, it does. You, you sound like you have a plan. Which yeah, is a lot a better plan, than my 2020 but... was. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I balance that, I guess. Awesome. Awesome. So let's shift to AJ. Oh, boy. I'm scared. AJ, you had what I will call a pretty incredible 2020. I, I will agree with you. What? <laughs> Dude, hold I on. Hold I don't on. Know hold on. Stop, re- stop, 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 yeah, stop. Right. Always, people always talk crap like I'm some like pompous <laughs> jerk. And listen to this guy. He's like, tell me, Tim, tell me something I don't know, hey. bro. <laughs> Look at the scoreboard, man. AJ knocked yeah. it out. I know. Far. He yeah. does. He does. Yeah. But, and, and I look never on, look on that to shelf be humble. In the back, right? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Tim. That was great. It was good. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but AJ is kind of a big deal. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. we do now. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy so, AJ over there. AJ, is, there is there another what? AJ in this podcast that I'm not aware of? That's, that's, that's a big deal. You mean in addition to the fact that he created all this, Tim? Is that what you're Right, yeah, that was no small feat. <laughs> this all exists because of him, and he kicked butt in 2020 with certs. But go ahead, Tim, sorry. <laughs> so I think the guys just set your stage here. What, uh, what would you say was your most memorable or favorite accomplishment or, or thing that happened to you in 2020. And keep in mind, you met me in 2020. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh. By, by far and away the podcast. Um, awesome. You know, uh, so much happened in 2020 um, that it's, it's hard to, I, I don't know. It's 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 really hard to like put into words that, like my full emotions for for 2020. But t- 2020 for me will not be the year that it, it was a pandemic. It, it'll be the year that I met some amazing people. It'll be the year that we started a podcast. That uh, it, it's the year that I finally got my CCNP. Like so much happened wow, yeah. personally, professionally. Um, it it was an epic year, and and I will not disagree with anybody who says that. Now a lot of stuff had to fall into the right places for, for that to happen. And, you know, there was definitely some blood, sweat and tears. It was all very worth it. But, you know, my, my favorite thing is the podcast, you know, like 
going to to these guys and saying, "Hey, I got this like harebrained idea," and and not a single one of them, you know, batted an eyelash and said, "Like, yeah, let's let's try this," you know. Like, and you're all still here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, here we are. This is this is going to be uh, episode thirty-one. Uh, we just hit forty-one thousand downloads. We're we're going very quickly towards fifty k, and I'm super excited about that. Um, yeah, and, and then you know, professionally, personally, like things are happening uh, in the background because of the podcast that uh, hopefully we get to talk about soon, but uh, maybe mm, not. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, no, uh, definitely. <laughs> Definitely, uh, the, the podcast um, in 2020 was a crowning moment. And let's not leave That's out. A- you got like seven certs, at least. <laughs> uh, I, um, yeah. I mean, you got five actually, junipers, your CCMP, your DevNet associate, right? I mean, that's seven. So if if you count, like those those are actual like certifications, right? But there's, there's actually a number of other... Um, if you work for a partner, you have to do all of these like salesy related certifications. Okay. Oh. Um, right. my, myself and Taylor are top in the company because between the two of us, we got 30 different certifications. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and you know, the, yeah. like some of these things are, you know, online, you know, self-paced video training, you got to take a quiz at the end and you get all right. these like different certs, but there's certs that count for something for the business. Like, because we went and did those, now the business qualifies for whatever, sure, sure, and sure. it's it's a necessary thing that we had to do. So, uh, hmm. yeah, it, 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 we have our, our company wide meeting this week, and and you know Taylor and I were highlighted <laughs> during nice. some of the sweet. Well, I, I can imagine, dude. Yeah. Congratulations, by yeah. so yeah. awesome. That's I think you know AJ AJ doesn't get enough credit. I think like publicly. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's just do it right now. <laughs> he started all of this. It's not necessary. Disco, the dis- well, I know. Well, that's Tim asked the question, uh, and I think it's yeah. You know, we, he teed we, it up perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you've done everything, man. You you started all this. Like yeah, I mean we're here with you, but like how easy is that? Like all I have to do is just annoy the hell out of people for now, <laughs> and 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 you did all the work. You know, you got the website going. I mean, you know, the Discord, like all the different ideas you've had. I mean, yeah, dude, hats off to you. And on top of that, doing stuff for yourself and. Obviously, you have a family as well, too. So I don't want to. I don't want anybody out there to overshadow that. Well, thank you, da- Daddy AJ. Over here. And there's a bigger. <laughs> and there's like a bigger life lesson in there. I think for people, like 2020 was hell, but oh, yeah. yeah, but that's not how you see it and frame it and no. experienced it. So there's something there. You know, oh, you, yeah. you, you took sure. 2020 and, and made it your B word. <laughs> best friend yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's i mean that's that's yeah. a skill right there i think that i i, I want to be aj when i grow up so. <laughs> yeah, i'm not growing you up might, yet, so don't say that. you're on to something there dan all right so we got two correct answers i am keeping score <laughs> sweet so wait are you please tell me that you're asking andy and i a joint question that we can answer together <laughs> no, no i got i it? got special ones for both of you oh uh, okay all right, Aaron. Oh, boy. Aaron, I see you as someone who's very confident. Okay. And, ver- and, and very sure of himself in, in everything that you do. And that's oh, a compliment. Okay. And that, that's, main, that's mainly a compliment because you can do so without coming off as being arrogant. And that's a skill, brother. Well, I don't know that everybody would agree with that. Uh, <laughs> thank you, but... I- okay. <laughs> It's only my opinion that matters <laughs> no, right now. No, so. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> so uh, you're lucky enough that, that you get an Andy question as well. Sweet. I am not always confident and sure of myself and what I do. So yeah. what's your secret and how you do it? So I think Andy's kind of like salivating at this too because he probably knows the exact reason why I, I am how I am. So a, a, little, a little backstory here for just a half a second because – we're when we release these episodes we're we're on a time delay and tim at this per, particular second has not heard the last episode so there there there's a little bit of a dent in the armor so to speak that that we kind of went into in our in our last episode which if you if you listen to the podcast you heard but just to kind of let you in on on what's going on tim yeah like i moved a ton when i was a kid i'm very introverted uh, I don't like being around people. I don't like crowds. Uh, I prefer to just sit right here by myself uh, and interact with people online if I have to, right? Uh, which is strange when I when I tell people that because they're like, "Oh man, you're always so good in crowds," and like you know, you t- you talk to people. But it's just a skill that I've built up over 
years and years and years as like a defense mechanism so that like I wouldn't be picked on. So okay. like so like so Dan Dan's really good at just being like a quiet dude. Like I'm not. So when I'm a quiet dude for some strange reason through my entire life, like I was just getting picked on left and right. So to alleviate that, what I did was A, I started being an a-hole. And, and B, I started being uh like a little more like offensive instead of defensive. So basically, okay. instead of getting made fun of, and I mean, I move schools, Andy and I talk about this quite frequently. It's like move schools like 12 times before I was even, you know, in high school. And it's like every time you put yourself in that situation, it's like interviewing and, and it feels like interviewing to me. It's like, yep, new class, new teacher, new, new schoolmates. You got to figure out how you're going to impress the right people. If you like the show, The Office, uh, yeah, this is this. Okay, this is great. So when the two branches merge, uh, the one that had that, that uh, Jim had went to for a bit and then yeah. closed down and they merged back. So they brought Andy with him. Right. And they were asking him in the parking lot, you know, what are you going to do to fit in? And he's like, easy. Uh, personality mimicking and being like over like aggressive. <laughs> but anyway, he goes in and he just like repeats, he, uh, repeti- he repeats everything like Michael says in the same voice. And he's like, I don't know about that Andy guy, but I love him. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just, it, it, it is a skill, right? And it's very similar to like, um, like uh, interviewing because you're, you're explaining yourself and you only have so much time to do it. And like, you have to also be like relatable and all this other stuff. So, Long story short, it's it's a defense mechanism, and I just put my foot on the pedal when I need to and use it, right? So anything that happens bad to you in your life, you you know, it's a weapon. It can hurt you or it can make you feel better, and I just choose most of the time to use it as a weapon to help myself. So there you go. There's the- I, I really appreciate that answer. There's a lot of stuff there I didn't know about you, so thank you for sharing. I should have said, put the scuba gear on because it's about to get deep, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So I may seem confident to everybody, but like, and, and I joked about it earlier. It's, it's not that it's, I, I guess I don't know the other word for it. Like, I don't, I don't have a thesaurus out, but like, like just being, uh, uh socially intelligent, right? Okay. Like, uh, being able to talk to anybody and, and feel like they're also just like you, you know, any celebrity, even like if you were talking to like Michael Jordan or something, it's easy to get like starstruck by that, but it's like, you're just a dude. We're all just, we're yeah. all just people. You know what I mean? So there you go. Awesome, man. Awesome. And rant. <laughs> Thank you for that though. Okay, Andy. Oh, I hope mine's easier than that one. <laughs> 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 do I have to break my heart open? <laughs> I don't know why I'm setting it up like this. I, I good, feel man. like, I feel like, and I love all you guys, but I feel yeah. like I relate the most to Andy. Um, I've got a wonderful wife who I met All in right. college. End the show, she, end the show episode. She, <laughs> she, she came back for with one me. of them. <laughs> so, um, and we've got four wonderful kids. So I, four. I, I relate to Andy um, uh, with, with, because Andy, you share everything that you have shared throughout this uh, entire series. So first off, I appreciate that. Now, my question for you uh, is around this. So you recently picked the guitar back up, right? Yeah. Been playing a little bit. So tell me, do you sit at home at night and jam out to the podcast theme music? And hold on, <laughs> even even if the answer is no, please just say it's a yes. I've got this mental image that I don't want to lose, man. <laughs> Andy wrote that. He, he, he played that. Yeah, that's, that's all him. That wasn't supposed to come out so. because I'm collecting royalties and we're not supposed we're supposed to be nonprofit. <laughs> 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 Yes, Tim, that's all I do. <laughs> so I gave you kind of a BS question, but I did it on purpose. And I wanted to highlight the fact that you have an outlet and you are a hobby, if you will, uh, because I think that's really important for for us is, is any professional, whether it be IT or not, that you got to find a way to get away. Um, and that's something that I don't think I do well. I don't I can't really rattle off an actual true hobby that I have other than uh, lifting 12 ounce cans near my face. But so I, I applaud you for that. And that's awesome. And keep doing it. Wait, have you seen the pictures? What? 
uh, let's just say there's a ponytail involved, <laughs> and you 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 want to talk about shredding. Uh, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna speak for him. The day this gets released, he's gonna he's gonna tweet a picture. Please promise me you'll do that, Andy. Just one <laughs> picture. Just one picture. Of please. Of what? Of you. Of what? In the you know what era he's talking about. of you being a rock star. Sure. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. You guys Perfect. are. Thank me later, folks. Tim, I have I have a demo I did with a band in the '90s that I'm still too embarrassed to share with anybody, including this panel, because I've heard <laughs> Aaron, well, I've heard Aaron's stuff, and it's much well, it's much better and more well produced than mine. So I refuse to put my <laughs> crap out there and have people be like, "Wow, dude, that really sucks." <laughs> but you haven't heard the 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 countless four track recordings yeah, from my garage with the right. one microphone hanging in the middle. There, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. It's kind of like the cert thing. It's like the tip of the iceberg, right? <laughs> I think yeah. I think you got to have a hobby, Tim, for at the very least mental health. I just happen to over the years, I have a half a dozen hobbies that I would love to spend more time in. Uh, I love to fish. I love photography. I love to cycle. I love playing music. And I just have mm. so, I, I have very little time. As you know, you, you have family, kids, career, podcasters. I, I, I haven't touched the guitar, you know, in, in, in a couple of weeks, but um yeah, hobbies are a lifesaver sometimes. You know, it's, it's so very, it's very Tim, healthy. Tim, you don't have any hobbies. I well, he told I you will, the, the twelve. I, I will can. say no. He's twelve yeah, ounce kids. Okay, okay. I think we know what his hobbies are. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But before that, before that, before that. Uh, 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 which not so, hobbies. so yeah, I, that's uh, a good hobby. Te though. Technically, good yeah. Hobby. So I, uh, high school into college, I did. I played rugby, so I, oh, I did okay. have that. Um, See, there you go. But yeah, since since then, I I stay fairly focused on work and lately um, studying. I mean, I'm I'm putting in. I try to put in close to two hours a day, six days a week. Uh, wow, toward, wow. Toward studying, toward. that's impressive. Yeah. So I what, when, another when pitfall. Do do when do you do that? Morning, night. So so another pitfall from 2020 was that I forced myself to do it at night after I had a full day of work Man. and I, uh, I wasn't in the right frame of mind. It wasn't right. working for me. So there was, there was one time just by chance, I wasn't going to get a chance to, uh, study that evening. So I said, well, how about I try this? I will, uh, go to bed right now. It was early and I'll get up at five. So I I've been yeah. on a pretty good string of Monday through Saturday Unless I have some uh, overnight maintenance with work, I won't push myself too hard. But I, I'm usually getting close to five to six days a week. Uh, I go from 5 a.m. to I try to get as close to like 7.15 as possible nice. and then start my day. And then I'm actually, by doing that, I'm actually spending more time in the evenings like with my wife and, and hanging out yeah. than I was when I was being miserable at night, staying up late right. and, and doing studying. So it works out. It sucks getting up in the morning. Are you a morning that, person? Like is your brain working at five in the morning? It, it is more than it is yeah. at 10 o'clock at night. Right, right, right. Mm. Yep, mm. yep. Because that's what I've right been doing on. at nighttime. I'm up to like midnight most nights trying to stay. And I'm not knocking it, a, brother. No, you got to do what, whatever well, it's a, works for it's you. It's a fool's errand. I'm exhausted. I'm not retaining stuff. I'm praying that mm. the flashcards will work someday when I, because <laughs> I mean? I'm just so tired at night, you know, so maybe I'll start yeah. getting up at five. See, I think that's something I'm going to have to try because I, I mean, I'm a night owl anyways, but I, I feel like I'm going to have to try doing that. Like just go to bed super early and get up super or yeah, go to bed early and then get up early uh, and try doing some studying and whatnot. Cause I don't know. It just work. Sometimes exhausting. it just doesn't. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm beat by that time. Right. You right. Know, after work, right. you're burnt and, and, and after kids and everything, it's definitely, and I'm going to go old school Andy on you. So like, uh -oh. I'm not going to say, how do you do it? But so work gets in the way. Like I had a maintenance last night. I was up till 1230. I have a maintenance tonight. When we get off here, I'll be up till midnight. I don't think I can get five hours of sleep and function tomorrow. Six, right. maybe. So like, how much sleep do you need a night? What time are you going to bed? Because for me, I'm going to have to make a sacrifice at night, going mm -hmm. to bed a little earlier so that I can hit that 5 a.m. What, what are your sleep needs? What's your kind of, when do you go to bed? So at a high level, the, what I'll start with is, is what I've been saying a lot lately is you got to start with what's important to you in life. Yeah. And you will, that's one thing that I've made a habit of not saying is, 
I will not say anymore that I don't have time for something because if something's important to you, you'll make the time. Absolutely. So what I'll right. I'll I'll, che- I'll cheat it, right? I'll say, well, I don't want to dedicate the time to that, so I'm not going to do that. Right. But yep. is, as far as sleep goes, um, I try to get as close to seven hours a night. Um, I usually I've been doing the Fitbit thing, so I, right. I usually range in between six forty five and seven hours a night. So, 10 so PM, I go to bed. Right. It, it's before that. Yeah, okay. I'm usually in bed by 9:30, and I'm up at five. Nice. Wow, good for you. Yeah, nice. for you. I might have to try that. Yeah, I don't. You know just got to find work, what but... works for you. <laughs> well, it right. might be in the morning. It might be night. It might be middle of the day. You just you got to find what's important to you. And uh, and if you have a couple maintenances time. at night, do you not study the next day in the morning? Correct. Right. Correct. But you'll try I, to study I, sometime that day, maybe later at night. Yeah. Because yeah. I find when I every time I get on a study roll. Work will get busy. I'll be up nights, hmm. and then I'm just whacked. And, and yeah, you know, a week or two goes by, and then I'm like, "Oh yeah, hell, I got to study again." So, and I'm not, yeah. I'm not trying to offer as an excuse, but I think you got the key to get you know sleep at ten, get up at five, hit the books. I'd like to do hmm. that, but I'm going to be up till midnight tonight working. So I got to figure that out personally. But this isn't about me, Tim. This is your episode. So <laughs> no, I think I think you bring up a good point though, because the, the we know that you you always ask people because you're trying to get like the secret sauce, like how what what is successful for you. Yeah, I right. think like through through our episodes of you asking that question, what we've uncovered is like people that know themselves the best seems seem to be the best at it. So mm-hmm. like. They wake up early because they're a morning person and then they get after it, right? Yeah. Like, I can't listen to those Navy SEAL dudes telling me to get up at 4.30 and puke in a trash can. I'm like, I'm good, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not doing, I might stay up till 4.30. <laughs> well, I'm not getting up at 4.30. You know what I mean? Like, that's, yeah. I, I, I don't function like, but I know that about myself, just like you do, Andy. And, and so you, uh, you just got to find time. And, and I think you're dead on, Tim, with the, if it's important, right? you will find a time to do it. So, Tim, give us, Please, if you will, since you were so eloquent with us and gave us all these amazing questions, please give us your closing thoughts. Put a bow on this bad boy for us. Tell it like what's one thing you want to leave the world with at the end of this episode? I want to talk about community for a minute. Okay. So community to me doesn't have to be a physical thing, right? Uh, community in my mind is a, is a grouping of like-minded people that are taking care of each other. They're helping each other. They're just being generally cool to each other. And again, this is, this is a message directed at the listeners of this show. Yep. The four hosts of this podcast have created exactly that. Uh, they have brought together this incredible grouping of people in the uh, using the Discord community, it's all about the journey. That server uh, is the platform. But you guys have brought all these people together, and not only that, but you're taking it a step further. And this is going to sound corny as hell, but I wholeheartedly believe it. You guys are changing people's lives. You are you've created this platform, and you're providing people tools. You're working with companies to to do giveaways. I mean, Andy, that this is the perfect example. You gifted a home lab to somebody that because of the pandemic had to mm. completely uproot their life. What you guys are doing is so cool. And I I, th- I thank you, and I don't have the authority to do this, but on the behalf of the community, I thank you. And I- <laughs> I and do it all I the time, also... it's okay. <laughs> you can speak on the case and I haven't, yeah. yeah, I haven't been sued yet. <laughs> and I also, I also congratulate you guys because the things that you've accomplished and what I'll say is a relatively short period of time. Mm-hmm. I mean, was this thing even a thought a year ago? No, no. I know I the, mean, maybe the podcast AJ started said. up in like July. Yep. So like that. that's incredible. So congratulations, guys. No, that's, that's, uh, I'm, I'm happy that. to have met you guys and be oh, part of this. Likewise, dude. Like, let, like look, it's a sum it of... Rolling. It's a sum of its parts. I mean, we yeah. appreciate the sentiment, but like, like we're nothing without you either. So really, you know, it's like... There's no brain here, right? We're we're all just acting together. We're like a we're just an awesome beehive. Yeah. So it's that, mean? It's that teamwork thing. What's uh right? like there's no leaders, totally. nobody's in charge. Like it's, totally. we're all just together getting it done, helping each other. Totally. It's, it's kind of unique. I I don't know if I've been involved in something like this before. Yeah. I yeah. What's, I mean, uh, what's what's that phrase that AJ's always saying? People uh, people in glass houses sink ships. 
Hey, no, that's not it. it does, it's got something to do with a the rise, boat, though. A rising yeah, tide. Tides may, may there we go. Rise. Rising tide. I, yeah, there it's one of those tongue twisters. <laughs> something with water and boats that makes us good. He's, he go. saw it on hey, water. Water. <laughs> water. 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 You water. messing up my water? water. You messing up my water, water. John, bro? <laughs> yeah, John. But Tim, seriously, dude, guys, um, thank you so much. No, no, this no, no, is no, incredible. No, no. no, I've had no so we appreciate fun. you, dude. No, no, no. Trust us. We, you are, you're, we're, we're, you are why we all do this again. Like it's, it's nothing without you and the other folks. And, and I think that I hope, or at least I hope when people hear this now, maybe they can approach you or us and, you know, maybe kind of try doing the blog thing or let Tim write about you or, you know, try, just try it out. Maybe you, you never know. Basically all I'm going to say, but. Tim, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. We appreciate you more than you can ever imagine. I know that. You know that. Uh, we all hope, too, for the community, including yourself, that at some point we'll all be able to see each other in in real life. Oh, yeah. What, yes. a, what a concept, right? You know? Yes. Um, so many yeah. hugs I have to give. So many <laughs> hugs AJ has to give that we're all looking extremely forward to. We so, won't uh, make him dress like Santa Claus. Um, so and, Carl was talking about a, maybe a potential meetup in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. Oh yeah, that's that's right next door to me. So yeah, awesome. yeah. You just, yeah. <laughs> cool. Glad you left me out of that one. Uh, okay, an East Coast meetup. East Coast, right? <laughs> there yeah. you go. For those of us over here, but so. yeah, I mean, eventually we'll all get together. But, but the point being, we're together now. We, we've been figuring it out. We're all working from home anyway, for the most part. And if you're not, you, you at least know how to get on the internet because your job entails that. So, we appreciate you getting on here, sharing your wisdom. Lots of cool stuff, dude. Thank you, flashcards. To have the plan. Like your story, we again, I know it's hard sometimes to talk about yourself, but we appreciate all of that. So final words, last and final. When are you taking the encore? Yeah, solidify it right now. Damn it. Nope, do it right now. Pick Accountability, a date. go. Pick a date, pick a date. <laughs> no pressure. All right, pick a month, pick a month, Tim. Andy, do that thing where you say, see ya. <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> it's oh, it's Aaron. Oh man, I screwed it up. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but Andy likes it when I do it. I love so, it. I mean, I, I've done yeah, it but, in his absence on episodes. I love it. Okay, that's okay. okay. But where where can we find be. you, Tim? Yeah, where can we find you, Tim? Oh. Social media is. Where you at? I know you got a site. What's your Twitter handle? Let's hear it. What's he's he's impossible to find. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, my my Twitter handle is is very unique. It's pretty cool. It's uh, <laughs> at Tim Bertino. Nice. <laughs> um, that's a and e r t i n o. Yes, thank you. And I blog at netication.com and uh, I I try to write on uh, artofnetworkengineering.com Thank you for thank you again um, we appreciate it uh, thanks to those who listened if you haven't yet smash that bell icon like AJ tells you to every time um, if this was lucky enough to make it on video which I have a good feeling it's going to at this point oh, yeah. oh, please yeah. make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well and catch all of the latest podcasts as well as the notifications that a podcast is coming out every Wednesday from the Art of Network Engineering. On behalf of all of us, good evening. See ya! Hey everyone, this is AJ. If you like what you heard today, then make sure you subscribe to our podcast and your favorite podcatcher. Smash that bell icon to get notified of all of our future episodes. Also, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We are at Art of Net Eng. That's Art of N E T E N G. You can also find us on the web at Art of Network Engineering.com, where we post all of our show notes. You can read blog articles from the co hosts and guests, and also a lot more news and info from the networking world. Thanks for listening.